Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Stefan Landberg and I'm a Regional Digitalization Coordinator at Region Norrbotten. I'm going to talk a little about healthcare in remote areas and services in remote areas. I have a slight lumbago. <laughs> I had to lean on the desk. I'm sorry. Um, we talk about Norrbotten in brief. Uh, the county is the largest in Sweden. The area of Norrbotten is constitutes a quarter of Sweden. Did you know that uh, Norrbotten is uh, just as big as, uh, as Austria? And Austria has 8.5 million people and we have got 250,000. And um, the main driver for growth in Norrbotten is uh, raw materials. Uh, in Norrbotten, uh, we have a long tradition of uh, collaboration between uh, the university and the mining industry. And Luleås, um, uh, the University of Luleå is Sweden's center for education and research in mining. And it's clearly stated its ambition to be an internationally st uh, strong, excellent center. But this is the core question. Without services, no companies, and without companies, no services. The use of technology, uh, technolo uh, technology changes the conditions for companies and public sector, as you all know, for working life and education and for social co uh, cohesion in society. Digitalization means a revolutionary transformation. No doubt about that. And to make that possible, the digital transformation, we have a regional fiber-based high-speed network. It's connected to all our, our 40 mun municipalities, and it's uh, collecting, uh, connects uh, Norrbotten into seamless digital infrastructure. And uh, our net is also connected to the rest of Sweden and to uh, Norway and Finland. But this is the main question. Digitalization must include everyone in society. That's the core question. Because every, everybody has to come along. It's too expensive to live separate lives, one analog life and one digital life. Uh, it's necessary to, order to be able to, to conduct both the health and medical care of the future, uh, doing business and have a distance education. And just now we have an ongoing project that's called Digital Services in Villages. And uh, the aim, uh, populated, act, uh, active and growing rural areas make a major contribution to our society. Therefore, they must also have the same conditions for developing as a more densely populated areas have. And this project, Digital Service, will test new digital solutions to increase service levels in rural areas through inno innovative uh, digitalization. Uh, the aim of the project is to offer digital services in villages to making them more attractive uh, to, uh, to live in, but also attract new uh, people to move into the villages. Uh, the project, what shall we do in the project? In the project we shall uh, develop methods for interaction with the users, see how digital transformation affects us, and we try out different digital services in the villages. And we will also collaborate for exchange experience in between uh, the villages. Uh, this is uh, some examples of uh, pilot tests, and some of them is now ongoing since a week ago. Uh, IT support, we have collaboration with the library book buses. Uh, we use the competence uh, in those people who are uh, uh, responsibility for the book buses to help people uh, with their uh, with questions about uh, the technology. We have just uh, had a joint venture with uh, Norrbotten Media, who produces the paper, uh, most of the papers in Norrbotten, on digital n uh, newspapers in villages, in remote villages. We uh, will provide simple health care service in the project in some of the villages. Uh, it could be simple services like revisiting a doctor, a physiotherapist or a nurse after a slight operation. As Osa mentioned, 
we will also look uh, to the possibilities to uh, coordinate transport, the transport systems within, within village as an, and uh, to and from villages. Uh, and of course, collect new ideas on digital service from the villages users uh, that we could, uh, could um, uh, implement in the project. Uh, two minutes, 33 seconds. Then we'll talk a little about digitalization in healthcare. In Norrbotten, we have uh, the last 10 years uh, used digital technology in health for care planning, patient meetings, and consultations. Uh, and a little bit of that example for streaming on children's heart sounds we do with the university, the hospital in, in Umeå. Uh, these bullets represent some of the topics or specialities we have uh, used uh, or using digital technology for uh, conducting. But there's also a lot of major ongoing activities. Uh, the biggest project right now, which consumes most, very, will consuming very, uh, uh, much of our resources is preparation for implementing a new health and care administration system. That will be a huge project. But we have also just, uh, we're just now uh, uh, working with mobile check-in and payment. Uh, we are working with... Um, uh, we have uh, with video consultations by mobile phone, uh, and uh, we also uh, working with connection to na a national solution for healthcare advice, uh, twenty four seven. Uh, that was some of of the major ongoing activities we have in Norrbotten right now, but we have we share the same problems as Osa described with long distances and uh, uh, problems with uh, recruiting personnel to our hospitals and uh, primary care centers. That's a, a huge problem. And some of the problems could perhaps or must be solved by using digitalization. Thank you. I have I managed to keep <laughs> You get a Seven gold star. You get a gold star, seconds. Stefan. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for your time.